Yeah. We are getting toward the end of the year. Especially this period is a sacrifice period. Special people like uh, Philip, they need more power. Though they have to sacrifice to maintain the power. And this is the period. You don't know why Philip is so powerful. Every year, this time, you have to do something. Though it's not an easy period. And uh, they don't care who you are. What only they want is them to sustain themselves. And that brings a lot of challenges. I've called you this end of the year, 28, 29, 30, will be here in South Africa for a family talk. We are just finalizing to send you the flyer. Sorry for letting you know late, but we wait to hear from him what was supposed to. Why family talk? Challenge is too much. Complain, murmuring, doubting, no trust. Uh, things are getting out of people's hands. Single people like Rachel are giving up. When they look at the mirror every day, they say, oh, there's a pimple now here. The people are beginning to lose hope. They've waited for long. People are be crying peace in their marriage. But the more they try, more challenges increasing. People have planned years after years, nothing comes up. People are getting tired. But you see, when Moses had a fight with Amalek, the fight was in two aspects. There was a physical fight, and also there's a spiritual fight. That to see Moses told Joshua, you go to the physical battle, I'll go to spiritual battle, to the mountain. Thank God went with two people there. But those who read the Bible, they've heard the story. And it's not a story, it's a reality. Because every time when Moses, the hand are going down. There's a light are losing. As Moses raised their hand up, there's a light win. But you see, it did not take them an hour. The battle took them six to six. It took them the whole day. Only in the last minute in sunset, that the time they won the battle. Though it's, it's a lot to tell what I'm trying to explain here. 
Usually everyone want to get solution now. But the challenge is that my friend Philip who speak French, he says long propose, dear dispose. Philip can you explain to your wife what I've said. Long propose, dear dispose. It will always be a big challenge. Woman being plans that is a long propose. Woman being is woman be long is woman being a proposed plans. But when they say dear, dear is God, dispose that shows brings solution brings the answer or in a good way he approves is where the major challenge is and I just want to remind you that no one came on his own in this world all of us Someone brought us here. And uh, I just want to remind you, you came here for a mission. That you see, you come, you grow, you do all our activity. But all these activities are not really those activities you come for. There's a main activity that brought you here. The same way what happened to Jonas. Jonas, because his mission was to deliver God's message in Nineveh, Jonas refused to go to Nineveh. As he wanted to run away, he was in the ship, and the ship began to sink. And people wonder, but we never have that problem before. And himself, he said, no, I'm the problem. For you to not die, all of you, throw me inside the water. And people throw him inside the water. For him to die, for him to avoid, to achieve what God sent him to achieve. But because God wanted him to go there, those who read the Bible, you have heard that the fish swallowed him and went and vomited him exact at Nineveh. There is, is a lot to understand here that uh, is where people are fighting too much. When they are born, they know they have been underway. When even they are dying, if someone must select uh, clothes to put him, they don't bring the whole, whole robe to put there. Now, when somebody don't get married, is crying, I want to get married. When somebody don't buy a car, I, say, I want to buy a car. Somebody don't build a house, I want to build a house. I want to go. You see, people who are so diverted on the really mission. The mission that God sent you here. Let me remind you. The mission God sent you here is to seek his kingdom and be live a righteous life. And if you do that, all other things can be given to you easily. But the challenge is, 
how many of us are focusing on the kingdom? It doesn't mean preaching the gospel that shows you are focusing on the kingdom. No. That means ushering, like Poloko. Let's say that shows that you are doing. No. All these are just mixed up. There's an assignment. Everyone has been given. Like what happened to Jonas. Only you can achieve it. No one else. But the challenge is, so far have you identified your mission? So far. Have you identified your mission? Yes, Pastor Felix. I know it's elder morning in Australia. So far, have you identified your mission? People think you identify the mission holding a Bible on the street, like my friend Pastor Tom. Where he is? Pastor Tom is very busy in the street, preaching in the street. It's good. But are you sure that the mission God called you? All of us here who have a mission. <laughs> Dominic, all of us have a mission here. All of us. All of us here who have a mission. I say, all of us who have a mission. We have a mission that to be sent to this world to accomplish. I say, all of us. All of us who have a mission to accomplish. But the problem is, there's a first question. Have you identified your mission? Because people are fighting, I want to get married, I want to get children, I want to get money, I want to buy a car, I want to buy a house, I want to do this. But all these things are perishable. It will remain. But there's a one thing your report that you are able to carry. Like my friend Emmanuel, like fasting and pray. If you identify the mission that God sent you here. God, that is very critical. Because your mission can be a very small mission. It will move, move a brick from the corner of the house to another corner of the house. That is a mission. Because a brick cannot move itself from the corner of the house to another corner of the house unless you take it from there to that side. Because many people are very confused. They will say, oh, I did not yet do the mission God sent me. When I ask them, they say, no. I suppose to preach the gospel. I must go to Fiji to preach the gospel. Oh, who told you that you have to go to Fiji to preach the gospel? As we inquire wisdom, is where it can be very easily for you to identify what is your mission. Some of us who call ourselves preaching the gospel. It's not even our mission. We push ourselves. The mission God sent you is different than the mission you are fighting. There are some of you, I want to get married, I want to get married. But Paul came to understand that he could not get married to accomplish the mission that God sent him. If Paul could get married, he could fail in the mission. Because sometimes we don't understand. If Paul could get married, he could fail in the mission. People say, let me get money first. After that, I can do God's work. No. The money 
is not part of God's work. It's your ability, your diligence, your dedication, your commitment. Is what makes you to be qualified. Dominic, you know your mission that God called you. Who knows his mission? God send him. Anybody knows his mission? Who knows? Anybody knows? Makuluban, do you know your mission? It work in a ministry of education. What, what, what mission? What is your mission? Though you understand I'm trying to explain here, it's not easy. Though everyone has a mission has been given to come to accomplish in this world. But the mission is not only holding a microphone, become a pastor. No. The mission, something can be very simple if you do it. I mean, like, Paul has a very difficult mission. Remember when one time Paul had to bite him, the snake bite him. And he never complained. He went back to the fire and he shook his hand. And the snake fought the fire. Philip, can you do that? <laughs> The, go, the whole Gaboron will know. <laughs> though, <laughs> though it's a level you need to reach. Like I said to you, on Sunday, I think everyone was shocked when I told you that some of the tests that we go through it looks like a challenge, but it's not. It's planned by God. Things to think is evil. It's not evil. It's God brought it to test you. God to measure the level of Daniel is the make law that everybody must bow before the king. Daniel refused. They take him to the dam of lion. And in the morning when the king went there, he found Daniel relaxing and the lion surrounded him nicely. And the king surprised. He called the people, come. It's not Daniel sitting down there next to the lion. I says him. Daniel, come. He came out. How they knew that Daniel was worshipping a living God is because they saw him in a danger. But the danger could not swallow him. He came out freely. How do they have to make a status for Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego to bow down? And they say, no, we are not going to bow down. They say, put them inside the fire. And those who read the Bible heard that even the people took them inside the fire. They died. Because that weave of fire, he heated them, and they died. But then, as they went inside there, they're dancing, and the fourth person joined them there. And the king, the one, said, oh, look, it's not 
three people put inside there. Yes. But there's a fourth person is there. Ah, that one means son of God. The king recognized that. I said, bring them out. And when they came out, no one will define the God, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. The is where people don't understand. Even David, if he could not go to prison, he could not reach the palace to see the king. God made Joseph to go to the, the prisons. Is where he made the king bearer in prison. Is where the king bearer have to tell the king that there's a young man who's a prophesying inside the prison. Whatever he told me, it came to pass. And how it happened that they took Joseph from prison to the palace and became a premier minister. Though is, is, is that the things that we, all of us, are avoiding? I'll be telling you that the bigger challenge is the big reward. But people like Molo is a mathematician. They will be calculating the time. How much man could you make all this time? But I told you many years ago, those who trust in God, delaying is not a failure. Delaying is to fail. Like Annie could say, no, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. All my uh, friends already get married. Why me? I'm not getting married. Maybe my, 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 my father is a witch. He's the one bewitching me that I cannot get. Uh, uh, here in Africa, is like that. When a girl not getting married, everybody become a witch. But you don't know how to cook rice. Maybe the husband wants to give you a husband who likes rice. Now, uh, how are you going to take care of the husband? God is waiting until you know how to cook rice. That after they can give you a husband. Though, the confusion has gone because we are so in material. Though, I don't know, but when God said to me, I must leave Botswana, I must come to the farm. I've learned a lot. It's because your life is not for people. It's for you and your God. But because of ignorance, you want to please everyone. I want to please everyone. want to please everyone. Many people, you could not make it. I was listening to one young uh, footballer I become a very successful now. I was listening to his story. He was at that time was 17. But you see, he became a best Scoring is in Africa, best scoring in the world, and became best player in Africa. But that young man, he didn't even know the father, he was living with the, the mother. And one day, a big team identified him, and they wanted him to go to do like a test. But he was 17. Him was willing to go because it's another town. But he went and told the mother that uh, I want to go to do a test in this particular town. I said, hey, my son, we don't have a family member there. We don't have anybody there. We'll never be there. I'll, I'll, never, be, I'll never be there. And I have a lot of reasons. The young man was discouraged. 
But by God's grace, was staying with a cousin, a lady. And the cousin asked him, what is the problem? I said, no. They invited him somewhere to do a test as a football player, but my mother refused. The cousin told him, what did you tell the mother? I knew, because that time, football people did not take it seriously. He said to him, I will accompany you to the airport. I'd like you to go there. And the young man went. But when he reached there, he, sleep, he reached there late and he slept at the airport. He only picked for the first day. I mean, the, the treatment was not good for the first day, for the second day. But what happened? At the day he went to do a test, he played very well. And the same day, he had to sign a contract. And that change his life completely. He had a contract for more than millions of dollars. And the mother now can able, right now the mother have nice houses, everything is there because of the son who decided to go without involving the mother. Though most of the time, everything that succeeds you need to risk. Everything that succeed, we need to risk. Like my friend Dixon, if could not risk to make the pillars, tiling the pillar in the church, she could not get married. But now, all the tile has fall down. Then to go back and fix them again, he want the wife to fall down first before he go and fix the tiles. Though it's very important to understand that <laughs> the French people, like my friend Philippe says, Kini risk Naria. Kini risk Naria. I think a little bit you have heard about risk. How can it? Kini risk Naria. What the meaning? If you don't risk, you get nothing. Even Mukizi want to get married. It's a risk. If you don't get risk, you're not going to get married. Because you're not going to get married to your brother. Even your brother. You don't know his heart. There is a risk. The king risk career, Even in Christianity is more than risk. Because the God that we are defending will never see him physically. He do not come here to talk to us louder. But you trust and you believe that he's there. You trust, you believe, even the last minute, he's going to rescue you. It's a risk. Though it's very, very important for you to identify your mission. When you understand your mission, your Christianity become very easy, very smooth. You know, in the Bible, there are some women who are sponsoring Jesus' crusade. <laughs> Read the Bible very well, understand. Though every gathering that Jesus will go, those women will be involved. The, the crusade we are talking about, it started from there. The gospel we are talking about started from there many years ago. Those group of women, read the Bible very well, that work is to sponsor the gospel, to make things run smoothly. That was their work. And those women are very so dear to Jesus. Very committed. It's very important to understand that your task, that the task of those women is to prepare 
every town Jesus will go, those women will make sure that things go well. We thank God for people who have those kind of revelations. The, the level that of understanding is what makes us to move to another level. What is your mission? What is your mission? Have you identified your mission? Why are you here under this earth? Why are you here? To have children. To have a husband. To have a wife. To have a house. To have cars or farm. Are you sure? But all these things are going to remain behind. What are you going to carry when you are leaving? Do you have a gate pass? Do you have a gate pass? Corinna, my friend, do you have a gate pass? Corinna, is hearing now. All the way from uh, Corina. <laughs> I'm asking question all the way from uh, Dominica. Do you have a gate pass? Go pass, get pass. The one who reach at the gate, you just raise. They say, in fact, you know, when you have it, when you reach there, the gate it, itself it open. Do you have it? But Paul was, far, was, I mean, was boasting. He said, I've run the race. I've finished my course. I'm just waiting for a crowd. He was still alive. You already been boasting that I've done it. Okay. How many people have done it for heaven? Student, let me see your hand. How many people have done it to heaven? Student. Uh -uh. Raise up your hand. Heaven, get past. Heaven get pass. Ah ah. Mafi Chani, heaven get pass. <laughs> Your hand is very weak. <laughs> oh. Though you are not sure that this, this question can be asked from you. <laughs> it's a surprise. Eh? <laughs> I think you do not know. When I died, is where I came to know that I must find a gate pass here. Not bringing big candle, put them in a four corner of my, my casket, and begin to sing some hymn, like Botswana, like a lot of nice hymn. <laughs> and you. you one thing I've learned here. A poor man like me when I die, those candles don't come out. Only the rich people or people, big people in the government, they take them in that special church is where those candles will come back out. Oh, I understand. It's because of money you are paid. It's not for free. <laughs> I will be telling you that you get past, you get it now. You must have it. It's the same way like license. License, <coughs> let's say the car license, 
You don't wait for the. I mean, Mr. Puchani to stop you before you say, Oh, I left the license at home. Though you must always have the license on your pocket. You understand? In the same way, you, for you to go to heaven, you must inquire it now. Because the day that you go, no one knows. And you also you don't know. The right shows you must inquire it now. Is what Paul was saying that I've run the race, I've finished my course, I'm just waiting for a crowd. What the meaning? Paul already telling you that he had already get past. Before even he died. Though even you, if you inquire to go to heaven, you must give a get pass now. But if you inquire to go to hell, you don't need to do any effort. Hell is easy. You can just walk. But go to heaven, you must get a get pass. Do you have, who want to go to heaven? Let me see. Who want to go to heaven? Ah, even Philip. Uh -uh. Are you sure? Ah, uh, what are you going to do there? <laughs> uh, because you must know what are going to do there. <laughs> oh, you want to visit? Oh. <laughs> You need a get pass now. I mean, thank God, when I died, it's where I saw this. It's, I'm not telling a story. It's a reality. I saw it. It's not, oh, it's a, me, it's not a story. Um, myself, I saw it. If I'm lying, go to look. Look, uh, uh, my friend, Bishop uh, uh, Ben, the brother to 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 Philip. I don't want to mention the wife of Philip. Bishop Ben, he was there when I died. He will tell you the story. He was there. He's a, he's a witness. Though, you inquire it now. Rachel, I know you are looking for a husband. But normally could be focusing on the get pass than a husband. Because husband is going to remain. That is where our major problem is. All these things that we are fighting for is a waste of time. Normally, Cecilia could be fighting the get pass. After getting your get pass, after there, you can inquire all other things. The day you will put God number one in your life. Is that the day you are going to receive your get pass? Dominique, have you heard the secret? The day you are going to put God number one, that particular day, is that the day you are going to receive your get pass? Or you push you in a tight corner. Kin risk rien, If you don't risk, you get nothing. I know some of you give cars for one on one, you give house for one on one. I said to you, there's no man being. 
that can bring solution to you. You get past. But I heard everybody want to go to heaven. But okay, who have a get past? You can go there now to heaven. My head is getting taller. The get past is a connection between you and God. That the get past. What I'm trying to ask you, get past is your connection between you and God. That is a connection. That your get past is a personal get past. Is for you. Is you. Is yours. Is not for your husband. Is not for your children. Not for your parent or your siblings. Is not for anybody else. It's like your tech, your tech, your tech that have your fingerprint. Only you when you go at the door, it will open. So is what we are talking about. And is real. Look at Moses. Because they have a gate path. He's walking. They saw him going to the mountain, going to the mountain, go to the mountain. Until he disappeared. That was Gaspar's. Was having it. We want to pray. We want to pray. I know you begin to ask questions. Yes, you get past is your relationship with God. The day you put God number one in your life, that the day will be issued. You get past. Now, it's not, there's no prophet, there's no pastor. Or bishop can connect you. You connect yourself. And you inquire to get past yourself. Is you, your commitment to God is you. Because most of the time, that Polo Kolak one on one, that is, I don't see him. She's one on one, all over Botswana, one on one, one on one, one on one. They think the pastor can be able to connect him to get a get pass. No way. You get your get pass yourself, you alone. You get a get pass. We want to pray. Oh, we want to pray. Do have a get pass. Do have a get pass. If you die now, are you sure you go to go to heaven straight? Marcia. If you die now, are you going to go to heaven? Is that the level that you have to reach? To put all your trust in God. Put all your trust in God. It's not on what you have. All you have is vanity. All you have is wipe up. You can have it or you can lose it. Or you can have more. All depend on God's decision. Not only your decision. It's what to make a mistake. You think because you work hard? You think because you, I mean, <laughs> you are clever? No. It's only by his grace that can be able to make it. Only by his grace. We want to pray. The get pass. 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 The failing of the get pass 
is about all your mind is focusing on perishable. The day you change your mind to begin to focus on imperishable, is that the day you are going to receive a gate pass. Father, we thank you. Father, I'll give you praise. I'm standing before your people. You know them better than themselves. Whatever they're going through, whatever situation they're passing by, whatever challenge, you are in control. You said to me, even when they pass through the water, you can overflow them. When they pass through the fire, you can con not consume them. You rebuke them, wherever they go. I counsel the spirit of darkness or demonic power, all contrast spirit, all ancestor spirit, confusion spirit, working against the life of your people. I destroy right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every heart of stone be broken right now. Let it become to flesh. Let your word will begin to manifest unto their life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If there any depression, suppression, rejection, disappointment, if there any sickness, disease, any infirmity, any dry bone working against their life, Father, I command it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Break all the yoke of bondage. Every connection with the ancestor spirit to be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let your light be good to shine unto their home, unto their heart, unto their workplace. Let the light begin to shine right now. Let every single darkness surround them disappear right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you because your word that is going out and it never go back empty until it's going to accomplish what to send it. Father, peace be still on the life of your people. I thank you, Lord, because your word are going to remain permanent in their life. Those are sick, touch your feeling pain. Those are depressed, touch your, touch your heart. Those are sick, touch your feeling pain. Those are depressed, touch your heart. If the sickness is inside, touch exactly where the inside is a fibroid, is diabetic, is cancer, is how you name it. Jesus Christ heals all. Jesus Christ heals all. This is not a barrier in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, anything that not manifest is. I command the eyes to be recreated right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You spiritual husband sitting on the back, spiritual wife sitting on the back, leave the place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You ancestor spirit connected on the umbilical, disconnect from the source in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say disconnect from the source. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say disconnect from the source. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. The healing is taking place right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Put your hand on the chest of your wife. Put your hand on the chest of your wife. Put your hand, yes. Put, put the chest, yes. I command in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the healings taking place right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the eyes is healed. The back pain is healed. The umbilical be disconnected. Yes, the peace is be still right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, let him vomit, let him vomit, let him vomit. Yes, Muchumi, let him vomit. He's getting healed right now. The spiritual husband all the way from Bobonong must leave the place. Leave the place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, leave the place. Leave the place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave the place. Go! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This town not a barrier. This town not a barrier. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you Lord. For the healing that's taking place. For deliverance are taking place. For solution are taking place. In the life of your people. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. If you really. The spirit of the Lord has visited you. Right now. Let me hear your amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Check your body. Check your body. Check your body. Check your body. The Lord has healed you. The Lord has delivered you. The Lord has saved you. The Lord has blessed you. Let that healing and peace remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Thank you. Yes, Israel, what do you want me to do for you? Uh, I'm, asking, uh, I'm asking for the prayer. For what for? I'm looking for a job and I'm a mechanic also. So um, I was, um, um, so I went um, for me to have, have a job, but now I'm not working for me. Oh, you have a pressure. The wife wants to run away from you. Sorry? You have a pressure. Your wife wants to run away from you because you don't have a job. Just say the truth. <laughs> if you want me to help you, tell me the truth. The wife wants to run away from you because you don't have a job. Is it? No, no. Ah. Why don't tell me the truth? Maybe you're under pressure now. Is it? <laughs> yeah? Uh, yes, I'm under pressure also, but. Um... No, I don't want to say but. My question was yes or no. Are you under pressure or not? Yes, I'm under pressure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. When do you want the job? Uh, if you want to check. Now we are saying if. My question was stretched forward. When do you want the job? See you way. Yes. When do you want the job? Anytime from now. Oh, that's great. Just go tomorrow morning and knock the door. God will give you a job. Thank you, sir.
Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. If you leave, your wife give you a good breakfast in the morning and go out. When you come back, you get a solution. It is done. In Jesus' yeah. name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, let's go to Bonita Oreo from Guyana. She's been waiting us a long time. B. Yes, Bonita. Yes, Father. How are you? I'm trying. You are trying? I'm trying. Why are you trying? Yes, I'm trying. <laughs> because, because of what I've been through. What are going through? And I'm still here trying and holding it. I mean, uh, your problem is very simple. You see, God has blessed you and even blessed your relationship. But because of the anger, things cannot go the way you want to go. Is that the problem? Is how the problem? Because of what part they break up there is now. Yes, you see, it's not what you want. It's what the devil just wants to push you in a tight corner. And the devil is really good to plan everything. And you are not careful He'll finish you. Though the first thing you have to do is to forgive. Can you hear me? Yes, Papa. Though if you are able to forgive, you are going to see. I know it's not easy. Forgiveness, even the pastor. You have a problem to forgive, but it's up to you if you want God to chip in your situation. You need to forgive. That the power of God can be able to be imparted in you. Sorry? Uh, I cannot hear you. You can. I want you to answer the call first. Answer that call first, and I'll talk to you after. Answer the call. I don't want to take the no, no, no. You must take the call. I know why you have to take that call. <laughs> I know why you have to take that call. Take that call. Take the call first. Don't worry. I will talk to you. <laughs> anger, anger, anger. Because the person that you have to answer, this is the person I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't want to take any call. Yes, it's true, but you see. <laughs> the anger. <laughs> God is so wonderful. We are, we are worshiping a living God. I don't know her. I never met her. It's the first time to come to the screen. And she was waiting. She was waiting. She's so, so, so. Uh, she needed God intervention. 
But you see, uh, the wisdom has a great role to play. Because the anger is sent us to do easy decision, but we regret after. <laughs> How are you, Bonita? <laughs> eh? No, but I told you the secret. The secret, I don't want to go to stay hiding inside the car to avoid the world. I want you to forgive and let it go. I know it's not easy. You did not tell me. You didn't tell me what is going on. But the Spirit of the Lord is talking to you. Answer the call. Talk to the people. Don't be angry. Take it easy. Because the devil, the devil is where they use. Your spiritual husband can use other people to pull you down. It's not those people. It's a spirit. I know when I'm coming to Guyana, you're going to testify what I'm telling you today. I want you to, I want you to share. I want you to relax, forgive, let it go. Can you hear me? Are you together? Okay, let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Are you ready for the prayer? Are you ready for the prayer? Yes, Papa. Okay. Father, I thank you. Father, I give you praise, I give honor for the life of your daughter, Bonita. She's looking for your intervention for whatever she's going through right now. Her heart is, is closed. She needs peace unto her heart and unto the environment. Father, touch his heart in this particular moment to bring peace to control everything that disturbing his mind let your power manifest right now this time not a barrier a counsel spirit of darkness demonic power contrast spirit to work against life even at work I counsel it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let peace be still right now. As she's going back to the office, let peace be still in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your grace was sufficient to the life of your daughter, Bonita, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Go and eat now. You can go and eat. <laughs> okay? She cried. She cried. Go and eat. Go and eat. It's okay. It is well. Go, God is in control now. Go and eat, please. Go and eat. Go and eat. It is well. We are prayed. We prayed and God peace is upon you. Go and eat, please. It is done in Jesus' name. Oh it is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. For it is well. Forgive. It is well. Okay? Go and eat. Go and eat. Yes. I have a 
my problem started about a week ago. Yeah. I I don't need I don't I don't need, I don't need to explain. I already understand what is your problem. Your problem is both sides. In your marriage, in at work. Everything came once. And now become like a, the problem become too much, too much on you. The pressure become too much on you. That I said to you, the first things I said is to forgive. Because if you don't forgive, it will give you depression. And you're going to make a wrong decision. I don't want you to make a wrong decision. I want you to relax first before you make a decision. I don't know you. I never meet you. But as I saw you, God is telling me the situation, how it is. That when you see, now you don't want to eat, you don't want to talk to anybody, whatever. It's not good. Go and eat. Can you hear me? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will continue to pray for you. We will continue to pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You see, in the work that God called us all over the world, that the wisdom, uh, when somebody comes to you, God must tell you what is the problem that can able to handle the problem. You know, she's very far. I don't know who introduced her to us, but by God's grace, she's able to get us that we need to prepare time for people. But I believe and I trust that as I've talked, uh, God is taking control of the situation. God is taking control of the situation. It is done. Yes? Uh, Rashe Enani, uh, Areta, you want to interview to your, your, your sister. Okay, let's go to uh, Areta. Because Areta, she's a queen of Guyana. <laughs> yes. Gu Guyana queen. Good yes, Areta. Good morning, Prophet. Good morning. Yeah. And good morning, church. Good morning. Prophet, um, I'm the one that, um, first is Michelle who saw the, um, saw Bonique on another link and what she wrote, I would mention. And then Michelle in Trinidad contacted me to talk more to Bonique before she make a drastic decision. So we were talking and then she said, Arito, by talking to you, I feel much better, but I never knew she wasn't eating or anything. So what you say there is now I know. No, she, she... Gave me full details and I thought she did not. No, uh, I mean, you remember is where you understand how God works. I don't know her. But the Spirit of the Lord was telling me he had pressure two ways, marital issue and work issue. Mm -hmm. Now the pressure becomes too much on her. You see somebody who's sitting in the car like this, if not God intervention, she can commit. Mm -hmm. But we believe, yes, we believe that we prayed. You, you see, the, we see when she cried, mm -hmm. is to release the anger. Though she was really, uh, but she able to cry. The cry, I thank God that God, yeah. the prayer has worked. Has worked. Yes, uh, though, He's going to pick up the anointed materials today. Okay. He's already arrived in Guyana? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, you told me that. Name. Um, I, yeah. Yes, he's there. Okay, let her use the anointed material. She'll be fine. Is why you want me to go all this because in the Caribbean the spiritual husband, the spiritual wife, let us say the ancestor spirit is too higher. When mm -hmm. I say there's no marriage in the Caribbean, I know what I'm talking about. It's not about the people, it's about the spirit is very higher. Very, very higher. Though you cannot control it. You have no power to control it. Though that's the situation. I'll be there next year. Uh, God will make a way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very You're much. Welcome, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you see, even when 
Makulma and I don't want me in Botswana. There are many places that they need me. <laughs> it's many places that they, they need me. Though it's what God can do, what God can do. Okay, Rachel. And after they will pray. Oh, Rachel, you have raised up your hand. You already have a gate pass to go to heaven. Is it? Mm -hmm. Huh? I hope so, Prophet. Though you are not sure. Good morning, Prophet. Good morning. Why are you avoiding me? Now you are avoiding my question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead of yours. Because you already avoid me. About the gate, the gate uh, pass. I'm not Prophet if I have the gate pass. <laughs> okay, okay. But I want to have it. I have to be sure. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Yes, Prophet, you know, the message today is like it was for me. Mm. Because I'm feeling totally tired. I'm just tired, Prophet. I don't know. I'm feeling tired. Uh, you want to give up? I don't know. That's what I'm asking myself. I can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can even see. I, I can read you. You are not happy at all. I can read you. I can read you that you are not happy at all. That shows something great is about to happen. When you have tired, when you have given up, is where God takes. He takes from there. The God, God will make you to exhaust your effort. That when he does it for you, you cannot claim that is you. I don't know if you are getting there. Though, I think yes, when I'll be explaining to the people that some of the tests do not come from the evil, do not come from Kenya or they followed you in, in Germany. No. Some of the tests come from God. Though, is, is where you reach a certain level. You don't depend on this world. You depend on God. Is what God is teaching you, Rachel. You depend on people. People are inadequate. But the day you depend on God, but you cannot depend on God when you are already frustrated. You only depend on God <laughs> when things are tough, but you see thanking Him. You see, not by thanking on a mouth, but your heart, you still have joy. Even when you have trouble, you still have joy. You, you still have peace. Any other question? No, Prophet, I just wanted to say that because I was afraid now I, I find myself muffling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's a sin. I mean, it's a sin. People think to only commit a sin must kiss a man. No. Murmuring, doubting, complaining. These are the sins of a Christian. And people think those sins are small sin. It's the same sin like you kill somebody. Because when you murmur, when you doubt, when you complain, you are saying God is inadequate. Hello? Are you there? Yes, okay. Eh? Though, Rachel, that shows something great is about to happen. They must feel the pain mm -hmm. that when God is doing for you, you will believe that really... But, but I wonder, woman being, is very silly because when he's in trouble, you'll be crying, crying, crying to God. You go to this pastor, you go to this bishop, you go to this prophet, you go, what are you looking for? The prophet, whatever pastor, I have no solution for you. You between you and God. It is well, Rachel. It is well. It is well. I know you've been waiting for so long. You to get your permit, to get your husband, to get everything. It's okay. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It is well. It is well. 